Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, the everyday non-expert here, and today I'm going to be going over the FOC uh, Final Order Cutoff due Monday, February 8th, 2021. I already did DC in their own, and that is actually due tonight, the day this video comes out, Sunday, February 7th, DC likes to come out a day early. Uh, because they're going through Lunar. Uh, and I will leave a card right here for you to check out that video. So you can get your picks in. And without further ado, let's get started. First on the list is Marvel Action Spider-Man number one. I usually pick up all of these to read with my stepson, he is seven. And this one also looks really fun because it looks like it has Scorpion and Mysterio in it. So might introduce him to Mysterio, that'd be fun. And then next is TMNT. The Last Ronin, number one, the director's cut. It does have a pretty penny price tag at $10.99. Um, it has, it looks like it has some behind the scenes look at the creation of this instant classic. Never before seen layouts from Eastman. Story notes, date back decades, wow. Uh, that there might make me wanna to get it. Um, so that's book number two that I'm looking to get this week. And the next few are just going to be uh, different covers of this book, America Chavez, Made in USA, number one. Um, what you decide to do with your money is your own choice. Uh, I am not a financial advisor at all. Uh, so don't take my advice um, to the bank quite literally do your own research and buy what you like and you won't be disappointed but I do think America Chavez is going to be along the lines of Kamala Khan probably so I know her first appearances have gone up and stuff but this I mean the first appearance or the First solo story uh, should be pretty good. Uh, honestly, this is why I'm not an expert. I don't even think this is her first solo series, but I'm not sure. Um, I know Ruby Williams. Her solo series, those aren't spiking after the uh, announcement of Disney Plus. So, who knows? I thought solo series were, were great. Maybe that's just for older books like Wolverine, where you can't afford a Hulk 180 or 181. Um, so you get Wolverine number one, more affordable. Maybe that's just because the, the other ones are so out of reach right now. But anyway, here's cover A. And then cover B. This is the Hans variant. I believe uh, Stephanie Hans is the same uh, person who did that uh, Yoda cover for the High Republic number one that... Uh, had some pretty good success on the secondary market. Not sure that America Chavez has the same pull as Yoda, though. And I don't really like the way this looks. My my favorite one is the next one, uh, right here, um, the Yoon variant. Uh, that looks really cool. So that's probably the one I'm going to be picking up this week of those three. And then uh, Avengers 43, pretty pointless to for me to get 43 but I do have the entire run including the uh, Hawkeye cover that just came out I forget what book it was for but and then after this one I shall have the whole run except for I think I don't have Doctor Strange because my comic book store got all of them damaged and I'm not paying or hunting that down just to collect that cover I'm sure I'll get it at some point have the run but um, anyway Great vision cover here by the amazing Alice for Alex Ross. Um, yeah. Next is the Avengers 43. I'm actually getting this because I am a huge fan of She-Hulk. 
Um, I know she has a series coming up, but this is really more just because I really like the character. And this is just a really nice Bartel cover. Bartel and Frizen are two of the top uh, ladies when it comes to cover art. I'll take one of theirs over a Momoko any day. Oh, uh... The, yeah, this one, uh, the, it looks like there's no image yet, so um, I'm going to get it, but based on the story, I wonder if it's going to be the last page uh, spoiler related to uh, King in Black, so um, I guess buyer beware, but I'm also planning on selling my first prints. So I'm going to want the second print, just like I sold my first print 25, I got the second print 25 um, to read, and then um, I actually read the 26 already, but I'll still sell it. Um, so, yeah. I am going to need the second print to complete the run. I have 1 through 24 first print, and then also so cover A's and cover B's mixed in. This one is actually a uh, Peach Momoko's, I think, first written uh, comic. So she does the writing, the interior art, and the cover art, I believe. So I don't know why this isn't getting much um, uh, love as far as a spec pick. I, I, I mean, I guess, um, was it Jen Bartel? did the inside of um, Immortal Wonder Woman or something and that didn't spike but um, she's also writing this though so anyway just my thoughts I'm picking up at least one just because you know it's uh, Momoko times three on this book and then after that, uh, we have Nonstop Spider-Man. This one, I really don't know what this is, um, but it looks interesting. I'm just showing you some of the covers. I'm gonna get a cover A. Uh, Alex Ross, he can't really go wrong with Alex Ross. Not quite sure what's going on here. Um, we got some cool spidey angle photos right here. Um, and now uh, that's probably J. Jonah and Jameson, right? Looking at them. Uh, oh, that looks like an old school Spider-Man. Anyway, um, actually, the last book I'm getting is another one for my stepson. It is gonna be Minion Sports. So that's it for this week. Um, it looks like my spec picks are going to probably be the um, America Chavez, if that, um, maybe the Daredevil second print, but other than that, I'm probably not really specking that much this week. So, alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a like and subscribe for more content like this and you can also write in the comments down below let me know is there anything else in foc that you're interested in that maybe i didn't uh include in my video today please also share this on all your social media platforms uh just to get my name out there even if you just put a disclaimer hey this guy's rough but he's trying to grow uh, i would greatly appreciate it and to my 20 subscribers i really can't believe that you uh I have 20 people <laughs> who wanted to subscribe so I'm really I took a break for a little bit just because um, my other work I sort of took on an additional 20 hours um, like a month for that so that took ate up the extra time I had towards doing these videos um, so uh, I get up uh, I'm back uh, I'm hoping to get these out and I'm hoping to get better and if if you guys have any constructive criticism at all uh, do I get too monotone because um, I love talking about this stuff but I do feel like sometimes maybe I get a little monotone um, 
or maybe just the way my voice is it just comes off that way so um, yeah let me know uh, any thoughts in the comments down below always appreciated please keep it civil uh, we know how the internet can be and like I said I am just starting getting my legs and everything getting going um, hopefully my rambling will go uh, down um, I'm sure you guys would all appreciate that so all right well uh, that's it and thanks for checking out this video and I will talk to you later